Welcome back. So right now, as soon as we've made a single selection, no matter which one, it'll actually exit the program. We're not satisfied with that. We want to add a while loop here so it'll keep running until we actually add or select a five and then it should say bye bye and shut down the program. So pause the video now and try using a while loop, make our menu so that it keeps running until I actually add the answer of five uh, and then you'll shut down the system. Pause the video and do that and I will just show you a solution right now. So I'm going in here and I'm adding a while loop and I'm saying while selection um, not equal five. So if it's different from five, I know that'll be one, two, three, and four then. I wanna go into this while loop. And in there, I'm just going to use the selection with a switch statement right here. So I'm going to wrap that inside our while loop like this. So now this will keep going until I actually put in the five, right? It'll keep putting in either adding a customer, listing all customers, deleting customers, whatever I wanna do. The last thing I wanna do is, of course, I need after each selection is done. So think of it this way. I select one, so it shows all the customers, and then I need to go in and ask for a new selection, right? So I wanna end up every loop with actually adding this small show menu and adding a new selection down here again. I hope that makes sense. So let's try and see the code here and let's try and add a breakpoint. And that is actually how you can add a continuous loop here that just keeps asking you, what do you want to do in the menu until at some point you feel you're done and then you can press five and you'll exit. I'll just move the bye bye part down here because that shouldn't be shown until I press five and then I won't be in the while loop anymore because then five will actually not be the right selection. Let's try and run this and see if it actually works and I'll add a small breakpoint in front of the while loop just to show you guys how it actually works. So it pops up here and right now it asks the selection and I haven't touched the breakpoint yet because this is the first time we call the show menu here on line 22. I'll press some kind of thing. Let's try and press two to add a customer. I'll press enter and now I hit the breakpoint. Now the selection is two and it's two is not five. It'll actually go into the switch statement. So I'm stepping over into the switch statement and here it actually is two. So it'll hit the console of add customer. I'm stepping over. It breaks the switch statement jumps into asking for a new selection. There we go. So this pops up again and now we can print three, right? Press enter, pops up again, gets in, the selection is now three instead of two. Get into the switch statement, finds that it's actually the case of three, deletes the customer, let's just step over this. And right now you'll see the delete customer is actually printed here. I'll press step over again it asks for show menu again. Now we have a problem because the show menu will actually clear. If we remember, let's go to show menu here. Again, it's F12 if you forgot that. So the show menu here actually starts by clearing the console. That's not a good thing anymore. So we'll try and figure that out in a second. I'll press continue and now it's actually cleared again and I can put in a new thing, right? So now it seems to be working. Let's see if we can also get out of the loop. I'm pressing five for exit. Gets in here again, says the selection is now five. I'll step over. Bye bye, and waiting for the final click to actually exit the program. There we go. So now we made this into a loop so we can keep asking for a specific menu until we actually uh, feel we're done with the program and then we can shut it down with a five. See you in the next lesson.